Peter Carlisle recently stepped down as Honolulu prosecutor to run for Honolulu mayor. So now the city prosecutor's office will be looking for a leader, and for the rest of the week, we'll be talking to the three main candidates, Keith Kaneshiro, Franklin Don Picaro, and Darwin Ching. And joining us now is former prosecutor Keith Kaneshiro. He served from 1989 to 1996. He's currently practicing law and has a private security and investigation firm. Good morning, Mr. Kaneshiro. Good morning. Thanks for joining us, and it's great to see you again. Yeah, glad to be here. Yeah, so a uh, simple question, why do you want your old job back? Well, I think it's a critical time in our city where um, there's a need for experienced leadership, and I have the experience. I, I was a prosecuting attorney for eight years, and uh, we need experienced leadership in the prosecutor's office. Do you think Oahu is safe right now, and what would you do to make it safer? No, I, I think we have a public safety problem, and one of the biggest problems is uh, the drug abuse, the drug crimes that's been committed. Um, we need to address that, and uh, that, that, that is one of my top priorities. What would you do different from Peter Carlisle? Uh, one of the things that stands out in my mind is that you didn't try cases personally, uh, whereas Peter Carlisle did, you know, the big high-profile cases. Well, I did try cases. I didn't try as, m as many cases because I had administrative duties in the office, too. In fact, um, one of the biggest cases I had, I had to give it up because the legislature was starting in January, so I had to go back and to the office and, and get uh, lobby on the budget. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that I'll do differently is I'll reestablish re the specialized prosecution teams on uh, sex assault, domestic violence, economic crimes, and also the drug crimes. Well, what do you think about this uh, recent double murder-suicide in Makiki? A terrible case, and uh, Claiborne Connolly has a history of violence. He was a former patient at the state hospital. What would you be able to do as city prosecutor to try to prevent something like that from happening? Well, the first thing, you should have specialized units, uh, prosecutors and victim witness counselors and investigators trained in domestic violence so they can handle those type of cases and they can recognize some of the problems. I think when you have that, you have the victims uh, will come forward earlier um, to the criminal justice system to ask for protection. And the other thing I would do is also go and get some funding to help the victims. You have to address uh, the victims' needs, especially in domestic violence. Mm -hmm. You have to get them out of the cycle of violence. Um, you know, the prosecutor's office is not there just to process cases and, and try cases. They're there to establish a leadership role in a criminal justice system and you have to advocate uh, changes, you have to advocate for new laws. For example, in the, in the drug crimes, the prosecutor's office has to support treatment. You cannot just prosecute uh, drug dealers, you have to get treatment for people who are addicted to drugs and support those type of programs. One of the big issues uh, that happened uh, when you were city prosecutor was sending prisoners to the mainland, and that continues today. Do you think that uh, policy should continue, or would you advocate having them here? Well, I was in the middle of this because I was the director of public safety that increased the amount of inmates uh, sent to the mainland. And the reason I did that was there was a need to open up more bed space in Hawaii uh, because people were not going to prison because they didn't have enough bed space. So what I did was embark on a plan to send the inmates to the mainland, increase the amount, and it was supposed to be a three-year plan. At the end of three years, we would have built a prison facility here in Hawaii and would bring all of them back. I still believe we should build a facility here and bring the inmates back. Uh, for one thing, you create jobs. Instead of sending all the money out of state, you have it here. And plus, you have the programs in a new prison facility here, and they're not as far as away, and you can better manage them. Mm -hmm. And finally, how would you describe yourself as a leader? What's your style like? Well, my style is, uh, I guess, working with all the law enforcement agencies, which I've done, being very cooperative and working with them. I've also worked with national and international law enforcement agencies. Uh, the prosecutor's office hasn't done that. They, they stopped doing that. And also work, uh, uh, be trained, train my, my deputies, uh, provide more training for them. And uh, I guess... I uh, run the office by leadership, um, by example. Like I said, I did do trials. I mm -hmm. did trials when I was in the prosecutor's office. Okay. Keith Kaneshiro, thank you so much for joining us, and it's great to see you thank again. Thank you for having me. Good luck in the next month. Thank and you. stick around. We've got more news ahead on KITV4 Island Television, including pets on set. That's right. We've got a dog that you will want to meet, and she's been at the Humane Society for three months now, so she really needs a home. We'll have that coming up.